started snowing. The clouds were coming over the mountains and now visibility is really poor. We can't see any of the mountains and it's got quite heavy. Johnny is <laughs> out there at the moment. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020 we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Finding Our Adventure. We have driven about another 20 minutes further up the mountain from where we were last week to Val Terenz, which is actually the highest ski resort in all of Europe. You may have also noticed that we're not in the van and that's because we are staying at the Le Balkans Platinum Apartments and that's because it's going to be so cold over the next week. It's going to get down to about minus 20 in the mountains here and we're expecting heavy snow. So everybody in the resort is really excited. We're really excited because we're going to get to snowboard and fresh powder in a couple of days. We're making the most of the last sunny morning because it's supposed to completely cloud over and snow very soon. So fingers crossed it does. And we're going to head inside now and give you a tour of our apartment. So welcome to our chalet apartment. We are staying here for the week and we are very lucky that we've been able to bring Tia and Sky inside as well because it's actually pet friendly, which is amazing. So I'm going to give you a quick tour around our apartment and we're going to start off in the lounge dining area. So we've got plenty of seating, lots of sofas, and um, we've got TV and a wood burner. We haven't had to use that yet because it's been so warm in here. We've got underfloor heating as well. And this huge table. <laughs> so Johnny and I are gonna eat at the table either ends. And um, yeah, we've got sweeping views. We've got a balcony that goes all the way around this room. And it's just absolutely massive. Tia is making herself at home over there on the sofa. not going to want to leave. <laughs> so this apartment sleeps 14 people and it has six bedrooms so we have got plenty of rooms so if you want to come join us you're more than welcome. So this is the balcony we've got it wrapping all the way around and all the bedrooms have got their own balcony as well but we've got the most incredible view there's a chairlift just there we've got a slope just beneath us and we've got mountain views all around. Okay so we've got a sky who's going to help us for the next bit of the tour Know, we'll see how long she lasts. So, this is the hallway. We've got the bathroom through there and another toilet. And then through here we have the kitchen. So we've got a double oven, double hobs as well. Oh, just turned it on. <laughs> and then we've got a sink, uh, like rubbish and stuff under there, a wine cooler, um, we've got a microwave like loads of storage space. There's loads of like utensils in here. So Johnny found there's like a raclette and um, something you can do fondue. with like a fondue. Got a fridge here, toaster, like coffee maker. Oh yeah, and there's two dishwashers as well. So we're gonna be probably very lazy this week. <laughs> so yeah, that's the kitchen. And the cats have got all their stuff all down there. So. Sky's eating her breakfast right now. So I've shown you the top floor of the apartment and I'm now gonna show you downstairs. We've got two more floors, so follow me. Okay, so the first room in here is quite exciting. We've got our very own sauna. And it smells amazing in here. So the sauna's just down here. Okay, now I'll show you all the bedrooms that we've got. So this is where we've been staying. Um, we stayed here in here last night. Um, we've got lots of storage, either side of the beds, and nice comfortable beds, and the girls' beds are just down there. <laughs> and we've also got our very own balcony. And 
And then we've also got an ensuite. She's got like a bath, a shower, sink, and toilet, and also like storage underneath the it's sink. It's also a spa bath. Oh yeah, and it's a spa bath. We haven't tried that out yet, so that'll be fun to try. And then we have another double bedroom, which has also got an ensuite, and it's also got a double bed, so it's pretty much the kind of the same layout, and they've all got their own balconies. So this is the third bedroom, which is pretty much very, pretty much identical to the second bedroom, and the floor below us is pretty much a carbon copy of this floor. So you've got six bedrooms in total and they're all very, very nice. So if you were coming to stay here and you wanted to argue about rooms, they're all pretty much the same. So there's no point arguing about them. And so basically that's the end of this apartment tour. Um, there is also a spa that you can access while staying in these apartments. So we'll show you those later. But for now, that is the end of the tour. We have had such a chill time just catching up on some work in our nice apartment and now we're heading across to the main residence area where we're going to go to the spa. Okay, so we've made it inside the spa and there is a beautiful infinity pool here with views of the mountains and the um, ski lift as well going up past so you can wave at people. There's also um, a jacuzzi and there's a sauna as well. So we'll show you some bits of it now. Here's the sauna. It's so nice to be inside the sauna and inside the spa because it's so much warmer than outside at the moment. It's going to go down to minus 20, I think, tonight. So this is absolute luxury. Then we've got a chill out area with some seats. You can enjoy the mountain views. Okay, I think this is the best sauna. Look at this one. And we've got the jungly leaves over here. And then it's looking out onto the pool. So I think we're just going to sit and chill here for a little bit longer as it's the perfect thing after being on the slopes just to relax your muscles. So we've been eagerly waiting the weather report and it has just started snowing. The clouds were coming over the mountains and our visibility is really poor. We can't see any of the mountains and it's got quite heavy. Johnny is <laughs> out there at the moment, hopefully not getting too cold out there, um, but he's catching the bus back with some bits from the van. So hopefully he's okay, but it looks so beautiful right now. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Oh, and there's Tia. You okay, Tia? Okay, so we're now off to the restaurant for some delicious food. We've had a look at the menu already because we are so hungry and it looks like there's some very tasty things on the menu. So we're gonna head there now. Okay, so our food has arrived and I went with the Mont d'Or, which is basically like a cooked cheese, which looks amazing. And it's got roast potatoes and meat and I think I've got some potatoes, something else under there, so maybe some salad. And Johnny has gone for a steak and chips, of course. We had a delicious dinner and <laughs> the staff there requested that the cats come. I don't know if Sky would be up for that. Maybe Tia will be. And we've also been invited for breakfast. So we had delicious the food was absolutely delicious and I've got a food coma now, so I think I'm gonna sleep really well tonight. Good morning everybody. We have woken to snow again. It was snowing most of last night and it's been snowing all morning, so we're very excited to get onto the slopes and see what the fresh powder's like. So we've just picked up our gear from Intersport and Fabian, Fabian was fantastic. And we've just dropped off our boots just in there. We've got a ski locker, which is really handy. And um, it takes us right out onto the piece so we can go straight onto the slopes. So we're now gonna go and enjoy a bit of snowboarding in the snow.
It's been such a nice morning on the slopes and we've really enjoyed snowboarding in the fresh snow and it's still snowing now. It's getting a bit heavier again um, and the sun did pop out for a little bit as well, which was really nice. But um, yeah, we've had a really nice morning and now we are off to have a couple's massage, which is very nice after being on the slopes all morning. So that's gonna help relax our muscles and we're gonna have a nice chilled afternoon. We've just come back from our massages and uh, we're feeling super relaxed right now. I could definitely have a nap, but we're gonna head to the shops now because we need to get some bits for dinner. So we've made it for breakfast this morning at La Berge de Balcon and it's like a buffet style. So they've got like pastries, juices, cereal, fruit and yogurt. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck in to some yummy pan au this morning. So it's much more clear here this morning. The clouds are kind of mostly blown over and there's a bit of blue sky coming, which is really nice because it was absolute white out yesterday. Um, I'm working my way up to the Seam Caron, which I think is the highest run in the resort. We actually did it on Monday when we were just taking photos and we weren't filming anything. So, and then the clouds came over and we couldn't really see anything. So I'm working my way over there now to film coming down there. But the um, one of the cable cars, the easier way to get up there was um, they had ice on the cable this morning. So we're having to go a different way and um, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm getting to do this run as well, which is the Grand Fond um, chair, um, ski lift. So hopefully I can get over to there from there. And then once I get down to the bottom, I'll be able to get the big chair lift that goes up to the seam caron. So that was a beautiful blue run all the way down to the Seam Caron um, lift. And it's possibly my favorite blue run I've done in the resort so far. But just as I've got here to the Seam Caron um, cable car, they've actually just closed it because the ice on the cables here as well. So the guys just told me it's about 20 minutes, half an hour to wait as they clear some ice off and hopefully it clears off. And you can actually see the car here, it's covered in snow and stuff. So fingers crossed they're able to open it and we're able to get up there. Just made it to the top of Seam Karan and it's a lot more windy than when we came up on Monday to take photos and the cloud is blowing in a little bit again. I think this is the highest run we can do in this resort. We're at 3,200 meters now and I should say that Val Torrens is part of the Three Valleys which is the biggest skiable area in the world so it's absolutely massive. So we're going to go down this red run now and uh, get out this wind a little bit and um, yeah it's a really nice red run to do as well. Right, so this afternoon is jam-packed full of activities and we've started off with snow tubing. So this is called the moon experience and you basically sit in these tubes and you go down a really steep hill and I just went down and it turned and I was basically going down backwards all the way. <laughs> so it's it really good fun actually. And now we're just gonna go back up the magic carpet and uh, have a few more runs. Front. You sit here. You sit here. I sit there. Yeah. Ah, up this way. Okay. Now you must hold here. Yeah. Now you take it. Ah, each other. This bubble. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Legs up. Alright. Let's go now. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> We're gonna bump. <laughs> So <laughs> Whoa, that went fast. That was great. <laughs> oh my god, this is like G force. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. <laughs> I think that was 
the fastest one. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. We had so much fun. Yeah. And uh, the guy doing it was like spinning us and making us go super fast. So. <laughs> and we raced each other and I won. Yeah, so <laughs> Hannah seems to be winning everything at the moment. <laughs> but for our final activity of the day, we are going to tobogganing and I've managed to persuade Hannah to come with me and do it. Yeah. And it's the longest toboggan in Europe, I think. And it's six kilometers long. So that's two kilometers longer than the one we did last week in Le Manier. Yeah, I think so. my butt's gonna really hurt after this one. <laughs> I can't wait. So we just took a massive cable car right up to the top of about 3,000 meters now. And now we have about six kilometers down on the toboggan. Crazy. So Feels like we've so high. <laughs> Feels like we're gonna just have to go like this. Like, <laughs> Apparently it's supposed to take about 45 minutes, so. No way. I, yeah. Maybe if you don't break, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna go really slow. Oh no, like I feel like it should be quicker than that, but I guess if you're going reasonable speed, I don't know. So we'll find out. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We have just got back from tobogganing and I am feeling absolutely exhausted. I've just jumped out of the, jumped in the shower and had a shower and just used a spa bath actually in our room <laughs> because my muscles, I actually really hurt my shoulder. I think I've ripped all the muscles in it. Cause it's on, about time you got hurt. No, that's not very nice thing to say. <laughs> on one of the runs, I went down and I hit the side and flipped over and I put my arm down and it just pulled me back. So Yeah, I took over Johnny okay. quite a few times on that run as well, didn't I? Yeah, I still it was won. much, I enjoyed that one much better than the last one. I think it was like practice run last time. So yeah, yeah that was really good fun. And we did it in about 30 minutes and the sign said 45 minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why you got a broken arm. <laughs> and there's one bit where it's like a big lump of ice and I thought I was just going to plough through it and I actually hit it and went flying oh. over it. So Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to chill this evening, our last night here in mm -hmm. the cabin and um, then we've got to pack up and leave tomorrow. Yeah, so I think there's going to be a fire, put the fire on this evening, mm. make some dinner and we're just going to chill. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. We have woken to a crazy day. It's been very eventful so far. I first woke up about 5.30 or 6 o'clock-ish to the sound of loads of um, uh, snow plows driving along the road, desperately trying to get rid of the snow because it's snowed very heavily overnight. It's snowing a lot now and they've basically given up. The roads are completely covered. And we're actually checking out of our um, hotel today, the Le Balcons. And um, we went to get the van and that was the first of the drama. The van was very difficult to start because it was very, very cold, but eventually we got it started, which was good. And then we found out that the snow socks that we bought in England before we came didn't fit the tires, even though we were told by Halfords that they were the right size. I mean, it's partly our fault, so we should have checked that. But luckily the, um, the car parking where we parked at um, sold snow chains, so we, we bought some chains. And after the help from two Spanish guys, we finally got the snow chains on. We've managed to get the van up to where the hotel is to start loading everything into the van. And um, yeah, so we've woken in the hotel this morning to signs everywhere saying that the storm is getting worse tomorrow. There's loads of people packing and leaving today because it's just the wind is crazy. The snow is coming down in shed loads. And so yeah, we just almost finished packing the van and then we're gonna start carefully heading down the mountain because the roads are completely covered. This 
I did have instructions saying how to take it off. Right. And then undo the tensioner. Right. It's got a slush all over it. Microphone's covered in snow. So we just pulled over to take the snow chains off. Luckily, that was a lot easier than putting them on. So thank goodness for that because we had no idea what we were doing. And now the roads are nice and clear and we're making our way down the mountain. And I am very excited to not see snow anymore. <laughs> as lovely as it's been. We have made it down the mountain. We've driven to Albertville, which is about an hour down the mountain. And literally it was all the way down the mountain. We're at an altitude of about 300 meters now, which is 2000 meters lower than Val Terenz where we were. And the temperature is seven degrees, which might not sound like much, but compared to up in the mountains, it feels almost tropical. And we've still got mountain views just behind us here. And I think we're gonna put some dinner on now, just chill and just take the next few days easy and just recover a little bit. And we'll see you guys for next week's episode. Don't forget to give us a like and comment and we'll see you then.